Now we've been using function notation for quite a while now, and you've used the word function, so we've looked at f of x and g of x, but what exactly is a function? What is a function and what isn't a function and why? A function um, means that you have one input and then one output. So, for example, if you remember way back to primary school, not everyone remembers this, but I was once taught to uh, create function machines. You might see it in uh, some early school literature. So, for us, we used to put eyes on them and then give them hands, okay, like that, uh, make them all look nice and fun. And what happens is that there is a process, a number is put into the function machine, and a number shoots out the other side, okay? So, what's happening is that I put a number in and I get a number out. One input and one output. Now, that is effectively what's happening with a function. Because if you think about um, y is equal to sine x, for example, this is a function. This is a function of x. If I type sine of uh, 100 into my calculator, be it radians or degrees, it will give me one value of y. The calculator will give me one value of y. Um, so that is a function. Uh, y is equal to e to the 2x plus 1 is a function. Okay? Y is equal to uh, log of x plus 1 over x is also a function of x. However, x squared plus y squared equals 4, which is the equation of a circle, this is not a function. Because if I put a value of x into this, I could potentially get two values of y. So that's coming from, if you think about a circle, and you think, right, I choose a value of x, then potentially I could get two values of y. The same with uh, an ellipse, or something like x is equal to y squared. Okay, this is also not going to be a function. So from this, you can probably see that all of these have y is equal to, and then on the right hand side, they have something just to do with x. Okay, so there's no plus or minus, okay, because that's a whole cup another problem. But on this, you can see that actually you don't have singular y is equal to. And if you rearranged it to get y equals 2, you would get this plus or minus coming up. And so what would be happening is that even though you've put it to y is equal to, you're not having that one input, one output going on. And so that is the difference between functions, which is going to lead us on to different types of mapping.